Good morning, guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Yes, I brought this into the office today uh, just because, not because I just want to play with it, but it needs to go up onto our display uh, piece already because today I want to actually film. Film. Yes, I really, really want to film um, what's called a podcast today, which is I'm super, super excited about. Um, some of you guys gave me some really, really good topics that I, I want to talk about. And especially with the podcast, what I want uh, people to understand, that it's my test and uh, trials and errors. I don't want people to take my word for it. I like, like who am I to give you guys a grain of salt of any advice? If you guys want to take it and it works for you, by all means, it does work. If it doesn't work, try something else. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hit that bell button because it notifies you every single time we release brand new videos. And me and Philly are actually currently working on a new video schedule, which will give you guys more content, which is a great thing. But anyway, guys, let's let's start today. Right, so on um, today's agenda, it's a Monday, which you guys know I freaking love Mondays. I love Mondays so freaking much. I want to smash out the rest of the content and scheduling all the content for Instagram, Facebook, all, all five social media platforms, uh, plus start pumping out our cocaine uh, pop-up events, um, ads and all that. I'm gonna show you guys, actually, I wanna show you guys how I run ads, but at the same time, I don't want you guys to know my secrets, because some of it is like my, like I charge other customers and businesses for these secrets. So there's some of it I just don't wanna give out to you guys, because then, you're sort of eating off my plate at the same time, you know, I, I gotta be greedy and somehow make money. But anyway guys, um, let's see how it goes, let's see how well today goes. Um, if you guys don't know, we're at, um, we're in Sydney at Honor Store at the very last week of September. And then we are at Melbourne at Secret Sneaker Store in the first week of October at, yeah, Secret Sneaker Store Melbourne, at Melbourne Central. So the cocaine pop-ups will be there. We won't be doing any Perth, Adelaide, uh, Brisbane ones. I'm gonna let you guys know real quick, just letting you guys know real, real, real quick, so no one will ever ask me ever again. My dad is really sick, like, like he's been sick for a while, but now it's going to a, ooh, them feels. Um, to a point that I, I don't want to be on leave of absent for any long period of time. And that's why me and Philly haven't been on holidays yet. That's why usually when we finish pop-ups, we, we just go on holidays. We take a week, two weeks off and, and sort of just enjoy ourselves. But right now, I just need to be homebound as much as possible for any worst case scenario. So please guys, respect my personal, um, my, my personal feelings, my personal things that are happening in my life. And please don't ask us why we're not going to Perth, Brisbane and Adelaide. That's letting you guys know. Cool? Cool. Start off the day, I'm going to do two cents orders first just to get it out of the way. Um, <clears throat> we have a whole bunch of wholesale orders right here as well. We tried to do uh, some wholesale orders just to have B2B, um, but I really, really like working on the B2C, which is business to consumer. Um, a, a lot of businesses do strive through business to business, and that's where they make a lot of their margins from, but for us, uh, B2C is, B2C is more important, B2B for us is just a bit of extra money on the side. We like it, but we like to sort of keep it, uh, um, I'm going to say limited because at the end of the day, as a normal business, you would like B2B to have at least 10 to 20 uh, business to business transactions every month because you know that's certain money in your pocket but it does cut your profits by a lot because you do have to wholesale to and whatnot and currently two cents is doing really really well in the b2c um actual area so we don't have a problem with that we do like to do support local businesses though so at the same time we like supporting local businesses and putting money in their pockets and uh, putting money in our pockets, it's all a win-win situation, but we try to be as picky and choosy as possible. So there's one order here, one order here. I'm just gonna put it in some uh, poly bags just to get them out of the way. Um, and then I'm gonna start packing orders. There's about another 50 more orders that I need to pack. Yesterday, you guys didn't see, which was a Sunday, me, Andy, uh, were here, and actually Vincent from uh, Sneaking Wonder was here as well. I'm um, just packing, um, packing two cents orders, which was like, 
insane, insane. It's absolutely, I'm actually, uh, uh, gobsmacked would probably not be the right word to use right now. Uh, about how well Two Cents is actually doing. Every single time I say that, you guys are just like, why? Like, you should always think that your businesses do well from the get-go. But, honestly, I didn't think that Two Cents was gonna strive the way it does right now. Um, and honestly, the reason why it's doing so well is because of Facebook and Instagram marketing. A, lo a lot of people have used Facebook and Instagram marketing before, but, I, I've used it and I haven't used it to convert like this. I haven't used it to, to make money the way it's making money for me right now, which is, it, it is a scary thing, but at the same time, it is a really positive thing because I'm sort of using social media to my advantage right now, which is, is, is good, but there's some other aspects that I'm worried that I'm just banking on social media to make two cents money. If that makes sense. Let's start packing. Midway packing through all these orders, I just had a little like a uh, brain fart, I would call it. But this is what we're currently using to ship out all the air freshers, right? This is $2.35 and then we stick on the priority stamp, which is another 50 cents. Um, that's costing us $2.85. But now, I went to the post office just then and got these envelopes because I thought these envelopes weren't going to pass through as three air fresheners. But um, the guy at the post office says, if it's only three air fresheners or four air fresheners, I, I literally said three like this. But if it's three to four air fresheners, this will pass, which this is only a dollar, ah. Uh, $1.25, so it literally just cut our shipping costs by 50%, which means our profits increase, and you guys, whoever still orders two cents will still get it in the same ordinary fashion way, which is super good because we were trying to figure out a way to cut costs, and like the only ways to you can see is to cut costs without actually increasing your prices. Is either wages, shipping, or anything that has a flat fee that you can't, you, you sort of got to squeeze and push. Like for example, um, sneaker laundry. I went through the ordeal of actually speaking to Fastways and Couriers Please to give us a better uh, shipping cost because we wanted to cut shipping costs and we didn't want to actually put increase the prices and put it upon our customers because you guys know as well that we do free shipping on sneaker laundry and we also do free shipping on um, two cents. So that means we're, we're actually holding up the, the side of um, the cost and we do Put the cost of shipping within the prices of the item but we still want to keep it as cheap as possible and now this makes me so happy that i can cut more costs which is great and cutting costs doesn't mean making um things worse shitter um affects the customers any way possible this doesn't affect anyone and it saves us money Good morning everybody, happy Monday. So today, as we always say, we actually like Mondays. I like it because, not because like of what Hal likes, I just like because I feel super, super busy because I have so much stuff to catch up on. But I am not gonna be doing any of the Trust No One 70 jumpers today. I'm gonna have a little bit of break. I've been doing it for the last four days, pretty much nonstop. And I've actually done a lot more than I thought I um, could get done. So I kind of sped up the time a little bit, which I'm super excited about. But today I've got to catch up on some pet hoodie orders because I'm falling a bit behind as I was doing the Trust No One stuff. And I really, really want to work on Samusu Beauty's eBay account because I found out someone else from Australia is selling like Japanese and skincare and they are absolutely killing it. So I need to add our products on. I need to make it a little bit more like inviting to come buy off us. I need to do like a little Australian flag or something to say that we're an Australian seller. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I honestly swear everywhere I go, freaking Iron Man is always giving me the finger. Everywhere I go, he's always giving me the finger. But I just want to show you how excited I am because this is the box of two XLs done. It doesn't look like much because it's not fully full, but they've only ordered, I think, about six or so of these ones. I've done all the XLs. I've done all of the larges now. And the only box left that I have to do is this one here, which is already half full. And then 
a box of mediums down there so I'm so happy I would say I'm technically about halfway there which is good because I still have technically two weeks to fulfill the order but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get it done this week which I'm so excited about and I know everyone keeps saying to get a second embroidery machine yes yes I totally know but definitely not at that stage yet even though I'm like embroidering a lot these days still still a long long way away till we get a second embroidery machine oh sorry to interrupt this vlog guys but what I'm gonna do is just a quick unboxing because I always receive stuff and I don't show you guys and then some of you guys are like where'd you get that and why do you have that and this is gonna be something I will show you guys so this came in a nice beautiful box like this let's undo it undo it undo it Wow, that's very poor wrapping. Like, very, very poor wrapping. This is just a plain black jumper. Very, but the material on it is insane. Like, insane. So what I want to do is, I'm, I bought this for multiple reasons. One, because I really, really like it. Two, after summer, uh, sorry, winter is done here, I'm going to send this jumper to my manufacturers and ask them to make a jumper that feels just like this. This looks like a normal jumper, but if you guys actually have one or, or, or know someone that has one, please touch this jumper. Oh wait, how are you guys gonna know what jumper it is? Okay, it is a Stone Island a jumper. So this jumper was, was? Oh, it doesn't even have a price on it. These jumpers retail at, six something six seven hundred dollars trust me i you guys should know my me by now someone actually commented it down below and and it was just the greatest um thing i'm asian and i definitely bought it on sale like this was on sale and i was like i want a really plain jumper and the only thing that it says that it's on st that it's stone island is the patch on the side right here it's a very very nice plain a black a jumper i'm not really i don't know lately i've been just so off that that trend of like big brands everywhere like even this jumper right here if you guys didn't know it is a saint laurent jumper and like the logo is super small like it's smaller than my finger like you guys i can cover the logo with my finger and no one knows like, I still like really, really nice stuff. I just don't want to be so boastful about it and just like shove it in everyone's face. Like, yeah, that's just not gonna happen. But Stone Island Jumper, really, really like it. Um, people were telling me to size up, size down. Luckily, when we went to the Subtype store uh, a couple weeks ago, I, I tried this on and I liked the medium much better. But this is a two use uh, jumper. So I'm really, really happy that I decided to do it. But because if you guys can see, they use the same material inside the hoodie as the outside of the hood as well which is something that you don't regularly see because this one here they did the same thing but it's this this material is not normal but the material on like most hoodies it's just the same like like fluff like this rather than material material which is nice i really really like how this is laid out anyway guys let's get back to the vlog just got done doing some pet hoodie orders. I'm absolutely loving this cursive font. I'm so happy that I put this on. It looks so nice, especially with the pink as well, because it's super girly. But I made one for Davin, which is how's like best made for his dog called Cooper. This is like an orange pet hoodie. I really wanted to release an orange one this winter. It didn't happen though, because I'm just not happy with the quality of this. It just doesn't feel as good and like plush as these ones that I have here and it's not a button up and what i love is the button up is just a lot easier for dogs to wear a lot easier to put on because this one you have to put their whole body through this area their head's got to go through and it's just like a disaster especially if you have a dog like biggie who just hates getting into clothes but i've made him this one because i just didn't want it to go to waste i have a couple of these orange ones and i'm like i don't know what to do with it and i reckon this will fit cooper perfectly just because as well it's longer than our current hoodies and cooper is like is he a sausage dog is cooper a sausage dog yeah, he's, a he's a sausage dog so if, that means that his body is a lot longer and i might actually think about doing these longer ones but the quality is just not up to the ep standards that i like i'm also going to make him a pet pajamas i think because davin said he wanted one so 
this is gonna keep him pretty warm during winter i've also been working on my computer a lot more today because i've had to be a little bit more quiet because how i had to film a podcast but it was good because i was able to catch up on stuff but I do, I don't know if you guys know, I think you guys do, I run an eBay account as well and eBay is now changing their policies. So I've had to update every single one of my listings. I had to fix about 50 of them and it's taken like two to three hours. It's still not even completely done to the standards. Like the guy, I've got my own eBay person. He sent me like an Excel spreadsheet, a list of every single thing I need to update. Like it just is gonna make it easier for the buyer. So I've got to update like the color on some things. I've got to like write what the material is made of the style the fit the cut all of these little details I need to add now it's like super super tedious but I'm slowly getting there it is home time right now I literally just finished filming a podcast I did really really miss filming podcasts but tonight is SummerSlam if you guys don't know me and Philly are actually like decently big wrestling fans and my friend Davin and Tommy are coming over as well That's why Philly was making the jumpers and uh, pet pajamas for them. It is currently six o'clock. So time to go home I had a really really uh, productive day today. I actually filmed a podcast filled, filled out all the orders and what you guys don't know I just created seven Seven more new accessories for cocaine just little ones like pens and pencils rulers pencil cases um, I'm doing an umbrella. I'm doing a mug. I'm doing like a whole bunch of other cool stuff that I, I was like Oh, man, this this drop was really lacking accessories So I'm just gonna do a whole bunch in one go and sort of just release it all different times and stuff like that Anyway guys, let's zoom home. All right. I'm so excited about this I've actually been working on changing my invoicing because my current invoice is actually quite messy and just not neat I also do it on word and I've discovered Excel is the easiest thing to use like it if you have everything done correctly it pretty much just adds it up usually i'm just there with my calculator being like two times four blah 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 and inputting everything so this is my original invoice i know this might seem boring to a lot of you but like honestly i honestly thought this was so neat and so nice and then now this is my new invoicing it looks way more profesh can you believe i've been doing this for like a year or two and i've finally only just updated my invoicing to a really proper one but look at the difference i never thought this was that bad until i now look at this one and it just makes a lot more sense it's just so good and so easy so if you ever need to get invoicing done just go onto google google excel spreadsheets invoices and it will just come up with a whole heap of different templates my one i chose is just like a purple one very very simple there's other ones that have different colors and the ones that are more complex like if you need to add more gst and all that stuff but yeah so in love with this gives us a drink, food, snacks, and I think dessert. So we're gonna just have that, hang out and chill. And I'll show you guys what the place looks like. So the first thing we got is this grazing box. I see like bread, pretzels, strawberries, what? grapes. What? I have no idea. I see olives and pickles. It looks really, really good and look really pretty as well. <laughs> we also got, what did we get V? Um, cherry spritz. A cherry spritz. I have no idea um, what yeah, this no is. Idea what is. <laughs> Do read it? We're probably gonna get drunk. I'm definitely gonna get drunk. If I drink this whole thing, I would definitely like, nope, I can't yeah. drive home. But it looks lit. nice. <laughs> yep, go. Ta da! Oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's not what the photo we saw. <laughs> what? There was like really big bits of cheese in the Instagram we saw. Oh. That looks so tomato y, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> How disappointing is that? Oh my god. Well, we ordered a pizza. This is meant you to be like bits of like cheese, yeah. like big. You don't even get one leaf per pizza. Are you ready for the dessert? Yep. Are you ready? Oh. Oh, oh. 
There we go. That's our dessert. What is it? I don't know. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger yeah, than it really was. It's tiny. It is espresso martini ice cream pops. So does that mean it's alcoholic? Yes. Okay. So. All right. Let's try this. Sorry. 